For the main body of this planet, I'm using the long and short stitch in a yellow thread. Let's talk about ringed planets. All four giant planets have ringed systems in our solar system, but Saturn's are the most visible since they are mostly made of ice which reflects light. Uranus and Neptune's rings are very dark, only reflecting 2% of the light that falls on them, so they're probably made of organic ices like methane. Jupiter's rings aren't as bright as Saturn's, which indicates they might be made of silicates, the same kind of material some of their moons are made of. It is thought that Saturn's rings are the remains of an ancient moon. This moon came too close to Saturn, possibly knocked off course by an impact with a comet. It went past the Roche limit, which is the distance where Saturn's gravity is equal to the moon's self-gravity. Saturn's gravity then tore the moon apart, and the rubble eventually encircled the planet and formed the rings we know today. The observations made by the Cassini mission that went to study Saturn show the rings are only about 100 million years old. The ice chunks that make up the rings are gradually falling towards Saturn due to gravity in a ring rain. It is estimated that in 100 to 300 million years time, the rings will disappear. 100 million years sounds like a long time, but it's a blink to the cosmos. The rings of Uranus and Neptune are also thought to have formed from the breaking up of small moons, but another theory is the rings are formed from objects from the Kuiper Belt, which is an asteroid belt beyond the orbit of Neptune. Yet another theory for the origin of planetary rings is simply leftover material from the formation of these planets. Since planetary rings exist in our own system, it's reasonable to assume that some exoplanets will also have rings. Theoretically, we would detect these rings using the transit method. The rings would only partially block the star's light, so the transit curve would look unusual. As of 2021, an exoplanetary ring hasn't been confirmed, but there is a potential candidate. J1407b is around 20 times the mass of Jupiter, so it's not certain if it's a very large gas giant or a brown dwarf. Its ring system is 200 times the size of Saturn's, with over 30 separate rings. There is a major gap in its rings that may indicate the presence of a moon. The J1407 system is very young, only 16 million years old, so these rings are likely the remains of a protoplanetary disk that will eventually form into moons and over the next few million years will either disappear or become much smaller. Here's a jacket I embroidered with planets and stars as an example. You could apply these planets onto denim, sweatshirts, dresses or tote bags. I hope you enjoyed the video and learnt something today. Thanks for watching.